So the question of the day, should you dethatch your centipede grass, uh, your centipede lawn? Since centipede is a stolens only uh, turf, that means it has runners on the uh, top of the surface that run across the soil. It doesn't have rhizomes that are underneath the ground that kind of uh, run under the ground. So because of that fact, I would recommend not manually dethatching. Basically what that means is not getting a dethatcher that you see like that you can plug in and, and roll across your yard. It has those tines in it that kind of dig up the thatch. And as a result, as that goes through there, it's going to dig up your stolons uh, from tacking down into the soil. So that would cause a lot of damage. Uh, it would be okay if you had a grass type that has rhizomes and stolons, but since centipede is stolons only, kind of like St. Augustine, I don't think that would be a very good idea. Now there have been people that I've seen online that have experienced some benefits to dethatching, but you're taking a risk when you do that because I mean you're damaging uh, the spreading ability of the centipede and you're going to pull up those runners that are tacked down and kind of prevent them from uh, being as healthy as they can be. And, and you'll probably have a little bit of die off as a result of that. But there is a caveat to this. You can dethatch your lawn, or I would recommend you dethatching your lawn if you do have a thatch problem um, with one of those liquid products. Those liquid products are basically a, you're basically feeding the microbes and you're giving them kind of a, uh, kind of a turbo booster, if you will, to eat through that thatch layer. A lot of these dethatching liquid products have molasses in them. So that gives these microbes food to kind of eat through that layer. If you notice that you have kind of a spongy layer when you walk on your lawn, your centipede lawn, um, you could have a thatch problem. And you can get uh, one of those uh, soil probes um, that would give you an idea and you could see the thatch layer. It's kind of a spongy layer uh, beneath the roots. Actually, it's in between the soil line and the roots. And it's just composed of like dead, uh, dead organic matter. So since centipede is stolons only, it'd be like dead stolons, dead roots. And the main reasons why you would get thatch in centipede is you're either mowing too high or you're feeding it too much nitrogen um, or a combination of those two. Usually it's a combination of that. If you're, if you're mowing your lawn at like three inches, which is a little bit too tall for centipede, uh, and then you're hammering it with nitrogen like every month during the summer, you're probably going to have a thatch problem. And it's going to build up and it can cause disease. Uh, more bugs are going to be prone to be in your yard. Um, so the main things you need to do to prevent a thatch problem in the first place would be to mow at the right height, which is about one and a half inches for centipede. That's what I've been doing back here this year and um, it's really looking good. It's really looking healthy. Uh, so mow at the right height and also um, you can bag your clippings just to prevent any further organic matter from building up on that thatch layer if you already have an existing thatch layer. If you mulch mow and don't bag, that's fine, but if you have a thatch issue and you're mulch, mulch mowing, it's going to add to the problem. You're going to have a lot of debris that just sits there on the surface uh, and doesn't get down that debris won't be able to be broken down by the by the roots and the microbes because the microbes you know they, they're gonna have it won't be as as able to break that down because the material is just gonna sit there on top of the thatch layer so there are a couple of liquid products that I would recommend I'll, I'll link to those in the description below um, if you're interested in buying they really, like I said, just add molasses and kind of humic and fulvic acid and they give those microbes a chance to eat through that thatch layer. So you may want to incorporate that like once a month into your routine in the spring and summer and you should see an improvement along with uh, the correct mowing height. So I wanted to give a quick video on that. I wouldn't recommend doing one of those plug-in dethatchers or one of those manual dethatching rakes because it's just going to mangle up those stolons in the centipede lawn. Um, so I hope that makes sense and hope you guys are doing well. I'll try to get more videos out here soon. Thanks for watching.